Savage. What's up guys, it is your boy TechGodRachit and welcome to a new series I'm gonna be starting. It's gonna be called Starting Up a YouTuber Gaming YouTube Gaming Channel. Now in this series I'm gonna be helping out my subscribers who are looking to start up a new channel and just give them a little bit of tips on what to expect, what gaming equipment they need and how to make the best quality content available and yeah. So let's get straight into it. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about capture cards and microphones. So yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. Um, so number one thing you need to start up a gaming channel is something to record your gameplays with, right? So basically, that is a capture card. It's a device where uh, you take the output coming out of your console or your PC and plug that in. So for example, of the PS4, it's an HDMI cable. You plug it into the capture card. It's basically like a small box kind of thing. Um, it's hard to explain. I'll probably put a uh, picture on the screen of my Elgato Game Capture HD. Probably one of the best ones out there. But yeah, so you basically plug into the the HDMI cord to one end, and there's another port on the other side. You plug in another HDMI cord, and that goes straight to your TV. Um, also, there is a USB port where you plug that into your capture card and that gets connected to your computer. Um, so basically, what you need in case of most capture cards is a software uh, which is uh, which you can download off the internet, which you can basically see what is getting recorded or what you might want to record. So basically, the Elgato Game Capture HD is one of the best ones out there and most YouTubers use this to uh, produce high definition video and audio content. One of the main features of this capture card is that uh, it has this software uh, in which supposing you don't record something and for example you're playing a game of Call of Duty and you get a great game you can actually slide this slider backwards and go back in time and record uh, what you missed recording so that is probably one of the best features and that is how I get my gameplays since there's no theater mode in Call of Duty Ghosts um, and I don't think it will be there in Advanced Warfare 2 so basically you can just go back in time and record a good gameplay which you got which is great um, and you don't need to like uh, record start recording while you play so that is an amazing feature also it has many features like where uh, it can combine your microphone audio and your video and you can do live commentaries using that directly without recording the audio separately. Uh, you have a slight, a small editing tool along with it where you can just uh, split the clips and uh, edit the clips and take parts out of the clip. Um, now a great way to start off if you have the PS4 or the Xbox One is itself the capture card which comes inbuilt of that. Um, now the PS4 capture card is pretty good. It records at 720p which is not the highest uh, quality you can get of course. And the Elgato obviously gives you a much better quality and much more features uh, just because it's an external device uh, and you do pay uh, a lot for it. Now the links to all the equipment I use will be in the description below so you guys can check it out maybe check out some reviews on YouTube and just get a feel of what it's like uh, before deciding on what you want to buy. Um, there are many uh, capture cards out there like the Hopodge HD PVR. Um, the Ava Media Game Capture HD which doesn't need a computer if you don't have a computer near where you play you could use that and record it directly on a hard drive but it doesn't have quite as many features as the ones which uh, connect to your computer obviously the computer has more pro processing power so it can do more things to an image make it better quality um, yeah so then you have the inbuilt ones in the PS4 and the Xbox One the PS4 One uh, to be honest with you guys doesn't give the best quality but it is a great way to start off at 720p so basically you double tap the share button on your controller and that will record your game footage uh, the only disadvantage of this is that you need to double tap the share, share button while you play so you can't go back in time and record like you do in the Elgato uh, other than that that's a great way to start off so maybe you could use that directly and but the only problem is you need to share that to Facebook and then download it some of the uh, quality gets lost in that process 
Uh, in fact, the PS4 has its own software, the Share Factory, which came out in the latest update, where you could like uh, do a lot of editing to it. In fact, I've seen great quality content getting produced out of there. Not the best, of course, but great for what they have. Uh, so maybe you could start off with your PS4 capture card and directly uh, use that. That is uh, my number one tip. Maybe you want to get a feel for YouTube, upload a few videos and stuff. So that is great, the PS4 has its own thing, but I would highly recommend the Elgato because it has much more features. So let's move on to our next thing, uh, the microphones. Now, guys, if you want to put audio over your gameplays and you want to talk over them like I'm doing, you probably want to have a good microphone, which captures uh, good quality without any, um, you know, disturbance and stuff. So basically, my recommendation um you could use the mic on your laptop but to be honest with you guys that is not the best option you could hear a lot of background noise on it and um, overall there's a lot of it's not clear and not high definition content uh, audio quality so i would recommend using the blue snowball ice now this microphone starts off at only $30 30 uh, on Amazon and goes up to a uh, hundred dollars so I use the blue snowball ice the $30 one and you guys are hearing the audio which is being recorded by it so hopefully you guys are impressed by it because I really love this microphone probably one of the best microphones for the price out there and it's a great microphone to be honest with you much better than your headset or your laptop microphone so yeah I recommend choosing that one um, probably one of the best ones out there for the price if you want to go a little bit higher and much more professional audio quality then you could go with the blue yeti starts off at hundred dollars and goes up to three hundred dollars so yeah but I think the blue snowball ice is, is enough uh, for what I'm doing right now so maybe you could start off with your blue snowball ice and if you don't have the money to spend on that maybe you could go with the headset microphone which you like get with your phone and stuff that is decent but your laptop microphones typically on most laptops are not the best of course uh, they're mainly used for skype calls and stuff but yeah so basically that's about it i wanted to cover in this video hopefully it gave, gave you guys a bit of direction on what is needed to get uh, to start off a youtube gaming channel and if you guys are pc gamers you don't necessarily need a capture card you could use one of the softwares out there called xsplit or uh, I have a link down below so maybe if you're interested check it out it's a great software records in 1080p and doesn't affect your gameplay or uh, your smoothness of your game it uh, it uses the I'm not sure what it exactly uses to uh, not affect the uh, gameplay but yeah so that is great it's called XSplit Broadcaster and XSplit Gamecaster you can uh, actually stream with it uh, if you don't want to quite record on YouTube, that is also a great option. Now, that's all guys I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully it gave you a bit of direction as I said before. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It is my, uh, you know, effort to help the community who hasn't started and grow this YouTube gaming con community. And my tiny step to help you guys, um, you know, start off a YouTube channel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, please leave a like down below and share this video as it may help another budding YouTuber who has a lot of talent to start up. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the video guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. And I have some Ghost and Battlefield 4 gameplay in the background of this. I may not include the Battlefield 4 one, but there will be definitely Ghost gameplay. So, and I think it's on the uh, second DLC map pack. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I did do pretty decent in these two gameplays. Not the best of course, not a KEM strike, but uh, so yeah, that's it guys for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care guys. Hope this helped you out. See you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content. Click the two videos on screen if you haven't checked them out. And be sure to use the code TGR for 5% off Cinch Gaming Controllers. They're great controllers and I definitely, definitely recommend them and they do improve your performance. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys in my next video, I'm out, peace.